my name is Markiplier, and welcome to Video Game Hour Live, the only FCC-licensed, student-led video game show in the nation. Just kidding. I'm actually Ryan. And I'm Mateo, actually. Uh, but let's hop into some news. Another month of video game news has gone by. A little good, lots bad. But what else is new? It's a rip-roaring time in the industry, and we're here to tell you the latest from it. Earlier this month, N Nintendo announced that online play and functionality for both the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U will be shutting down in April of next year. Our sincerest condolences to the one player still using their 3DS and Wii U in 2023. He's here in the, in the studio now. Do you have a, a comment, Ryan? So young. It was a rhetorical question. Put that thing away okay. before you hurt yourself. I was playing Kirby Triple Deluxe. <laughs> the Grand Theft Auto community have fallen into the devious uh, traps of hype for GTA 6 with the arrival of October, the month. This isn't some game Rockstar made. Mass speculation has ensued to the possible date of a reveal trailer. Some have, uh, some have posited the Rockstar have, four years prior, announced all their major releases in October. Others have estimated the announcement date using the moon theory, correlating the date of a moon phase in real life with that of a moon in the recent promotional image for GTA Online, which set it at, I think, October 2nd. Something like that. Yeah. And it was false. Go it figure. was false. Just a couple of days ago, Sony announced that soon to be released, that there is going to be a soon to be released PlayStation 5 Slim, a smaller version of the original console that somehow looks even more like an alien monolith. The console will be higher than will be lighter than the original, boasting 30% less weight, a smaller volume, and one terabyte of storage as opposed to 825 gigabytes. The console is scheduled to be released this winter. If only they could have released uh, it before Spider-Man 2 next week. Yeah, that's going to be wild. On a related note, it was reported that PlayStation CEO Ryan Rank, I mean Jim Ryan, will be retiring after a 30-year-long career with the company this winter. Perhaps he's to blame for the PS5 Slim. We should have a few words on why I can't install more than one Call of Duty on this console. Indeed, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> Unity is thankfully having a rough go at it. <laughs> Personally, I think it's great. <laughs> CEO, <laughs> CEO of the company, John Riticiello, stepped down after, nine, after a nine-year term with the company only a couple weeks following the introduction of the, of the Unity runtime fee. Speaking of which, the, controversi the controversial decision in which developers would pay a fee for every install of their new games after reaching a specific threshold of revenue or number of installs has been rescinded. In an open letter from Unity President Mark Witten, he says, I am sorry. Nice one. You know, I'd have a couple choice words, but luckily this is an FCC license show. According to GameIndustry.biz, five former Ubisoft executives were arrested in France, including former Chief Creative Officer Serge Hasquet and former Vice President of Editorial and Creative Services Tommy Francois. This came after a year-long investigation related to sexual harassment and assault allegations, and also following years of allegations of abuse, harassment, and discrimination within the company. This seems to be repetitive in the industry recently, mm. and hopefully we see uh, an ousting of people like this in the future. Indeed. Uh, so they do not have their hands on companies. Absolutely. Yeah. And lastly, this month has been an extremely unfortunate one for developers and employee retention, as multiple major game studios have been hit with new rounds of layoffs, included our 25 contractors working with Naughty Dog of The Last of Us and Uncharted fame, and most of whom were being from QA. Additionally, 830 employees from Epic Games, creators of Fortnite, were laid off, approximately 16% of their labor force. But don't worry, everyone. It was all for the greater good of making sure those CEOs and presidents of those companies have their bonuses. And on that downer note, that's all the news for this month. I've been Ryan. And I'm Mateo. Enjoy the show. Actually, before we get into the, the main course for today's fine dining meal, because we're playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre later, we're actually going to hop into a review of the new Cyberpunk DLC, and I guess also 2.0 uh, re recreation uh, from one of our new crew members, Jet. So enjoy this review. Jet is prepared for us. With two T's. With two T's. That's Jet double T. to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood, thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed, because the NCPD will not let that... <laughs> 
Guess me and the NCPD have something in common then, because I won't be letting go of the fact that I was lied to about Cyberpunk 2077's new DLC, Phantom Liberty. It's a game I didn't play. Just don't forget. The game is fixed. Before we get started, I should probably mention that there will be spoilers of the game in this, so uh, don't watch the game if you don't want to be spoiled. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about what the DLC adds to the base game of Cyberpunk 2077. The DLC comes with a new ending and a new pathway that leads directly into the base game's storyline, depending on who you pick and listen to. The entire DLC takes place in a new area, Dogtown. Night City's glorified tumor. You're promised an alternate solution to save yourself and you remove Johnny from your head, but eventually you get caught up in the NUSA's political affairs, and in order to remove the relic containing Johnny from your head, you will have to be the NUSA's special little errand boy and find Songbird, the woman who promised to find you a cure in the first place. Cyberpunk is extremely story heavy. In the base game, the story was carried on through dialogue between you, V, and, well, the other characters around you. And just like the base game, the DLC progresses the story with character dialogue. A lot of complaints with the dialogue in Cyberpunk is that it ended up taking a bulk of the game. And, in fact, it seems like the game's dialogue took priority over the action. The DLC really doesn't change that. It almost seems like a subpar quality Roblox game where you have the story forced down your throat with dialogue. Well, I admit, some of the choices are pretty cool, like choosing if you want to beat the president up. They don't really matter as much as the choices you make in the very last hour of gameplay. While the story's execution was pretty bad, the concept itself isn't. One of my favorite parts of the story is that at the end of the DLC, you're forced to make a choice to kill one of your companions that were with you during the story. There are plenty of other interesting plot points as well in it that if you're curious about, I'd recommend you play yourself. Well, that is if you have a good enough device. My main problem with Cyberpunk is that the game isn't a smooth experience, despite the fact the main selling point behind this DLC is that the game had been fixed. The game is fixed. Combat and hitboxes are bugged, and it's really easy to deload the game and all the new weapons and game mechanics are really obsolete if you had just beaten the game before the DLC came out. If you want to grasp on how bad bugs really are, I'd recommend googling Phantom Liberty Bug Compilation. But it seems that the biggest issue is that the developers at CD Projekt Red must be testing the game with dual 4090 RTX graphics cards and didn't test any lower end devices because of how crappy the game optimization is. If you aren't aware, most AAA studios automatically set your graphics to fit the most desired output for your computer's build based on its graphics card, motherboard, RAM, etc. Cyberpunk is one of these games, however it overestimates itself most of the time. To show this, I had to spend 5 to 10 minutes fixing every single setting in Cyberpunk so I could barely handle the game. Even then, the game would force itself to deload at times, not load cutscenes and textures. And did I also mention crashing at the very end of the game? Never see you. Oh, did my game just crash? Well, my game just crashed. Um, the DLC is disappointing. That's pretty much it. The false promises of a fixed game and a riveting story the boring dialogue options that you had to sit through for a large portion of the game before you were able to get another cookie cutter arena really underwhelmed a good concept of a story of spies in Night City on a mission to get V a cure. Not to mention, it's hard to appreciate a good story when your playthrough is stopped every 15 seconds, whether it be by a bug, deload, or just crashing. I wouldn't recommend spending $30 on it, either wait for a sale or watch your favorite streamer or YouTuber play it while you sit comfortably knowing you didn't waste $30 on a broken promise. My total rating, 5 out of 10. Oh, oh, sorry, I was playing uh, my 3DS. Yeah, so welcome back to the show. Um, I definitely was not playing Kirby Triple Deluxe, don't ask. Uh, but yeah, today we are playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which just came out recently. It's a Dead by Daylight clone. It's not bad. It's fun. I'm a big horror guy. It's October. Next couple weeks are all going to be horror. Mateo is laughing so hard on the couch right now. Um, but yeah, we were originally going to play Saw, so some of the questions I'm going to be asking them throughout this episode are Saw-related. Uh, but that game had too many swears, so we can't play it. Boo-hoo, FCC, take us down. Anyway, let's cut to the couch. Introduce yourselves. I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Mateo. Hi, I'm Tommy. Oh, well, I'm Ragam Goran. Uh, and I'm Mateo. 
<laughs> Wait, there's two I was, Mateos? Oh, two I'm Mateos? Tom. Was I supposed to be Tommy? Oh, oh my, my god. god. You just... have one job. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, well, we could cut job. to gameplay. They're right now playing as the, uh, what's it called? The, the family. family. Yeah. So do any of you know how to play this game? Yes. No. no. Okay, so listen no, to Goran, but I'll also help out. Basically, yeah. feed Grandpa, kill the survivors. Yeah. Why do we have feed to feed Grandpa? Why can't Grandpa get his own food? Because Grandpa is Grandpa like 120 blue. in this We game. live in a world of DoorDash. Oh. Wow. No, this is 1974. They could have DoorDash. They did not have DoorDash. <laughs> They're cannibals. Jeez. I'm like squeamish. <laughs> oh yeah, if you're squeamish, do not watch this episode. Every um, game starts off with like one of the survivors that wasn't picked dies. Mm -hmm. So that's like. And what right now we're playing Leatherface. So just for those who are playing Leatherface, you I? have to rev your chainsaw before you start attacking. Yeah. Can I point out two behind the scenes things really quick? Yeah. Uh, so one, unfortunately, in between, like as soon as the show started, I was playing Pokemon on my iPad. <laughs> The entire and time. You have been playing and Pokemon and the entire time. You, know, you don't know how excited oh, I was. Wait, I just saw somebody. Uh, you don't know how excited I was when they said there was going to be a segment, so I had extra time to try and finish the match. <laughs> Unfortun I still lost, unfortunately. But my favorite thing is when we cut to Ryan and the DS, and Ryan was like, <laughs> so I wasn't playing this oh, game. It was oh, like so clearly here. the DS booting up. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was like uh, right next to the microphone, too, which wait. is what made me really laugh about that. that was, it was the booting up. <laughs> yeah. That's they're definitely not playing Kirby Triple Dog. That's Kirby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does anyone oh. know how to can a cut to the webcam of me in the top corner? What's taking little so orange long? buttons okay, on, on one of the this rows. This is why I don't... Okay, I've played this game, I would say, a good amount. You gotta go feed Gam Gam or whatever I know. I don't think they know how to uh, cut to me, so uh, I'm just gonna be a disembodied really, voice the entire episode. Uh, I, I mean, it makes sense that somebody has to play Leatherface for the game to start. But I hate being there. Leatherface is legit the worst character. Yeah, he is 100% Which is the worst funny character in because game. in Dead by Daylight, he's kind of busted. Yeah, he is. All right, so can the I put you up through some Saw game. questions while we're playing? Saw, saw yeah. me up. Yeah, so originally, like I said, we were going to do Saw. saw I haven't just saw these out. questions. I didn't saw that joke coming. Oh. Oh. Good morning, oh, G-Pop. No. That means you can escape the basement now. Pappy's awake. Um, But, yeah, so Saw question. Who here, like, has seen a Saw movie out of the three of you? I was going. Yes. I've seen, I've seen Absolutely a good amount of them. Have y'all seen clips? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I've seen like yes. at least every. Oh. I, I. He's like an old man who is like, you'll learn to live life if I kill I just, you. And I'm yeah, like, I'm whatever, basically. dude. All and I, then he's got a weird little puppet because he's a weird old man. Do you all know? I think oh, about yeah. John Kramer is like that where he's like supposed to be young and like. He has the. <laughs> oh, he has the baseball cap <laughs> backwards. And the hoodie. It's like, how do we de-age him? They put a baseball cap I on him. I think it's like so fellow kids. Him. Yeah, a little crap top. They need yeah. to. They need to let him rest. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> ask y'all about some hypothetical saw traps. Okay. And I'm gonna see if each of you thinks you could escape it. Okay. I yes for every single one of them already. All right. So the first one we're gonna do is the most iconic in the franchise. I might have to walk in front of camera because I don't know if you <gasps> can switch it. But oh. Um, you suck. Oh my Which, gosh, It's wait. the orange buttons if y'all are trying to switch the webcam camera while we're playing. This game um, looks so boring. <laughs> but yeah, so there's a there's a trap, and it's called the reverse bear trap. Yeah. Wait, what's that one? That's the one of the... I've never heard that well, one. I, I, yeah, no, that's like the, the famous <laughs> So basically, it's a literal bear trap. It, like, they hook it to this top part of their mouth, then the bottom part of their mouth, and it's, an, oh, it's a closed bear trap. And so there's a timer, and when that timer goes off, it opens and completely unhinges the person's head in half, Ooh. right? And so the oh, yeah. only way to get the key, kind of stuff. the oh, only way to get the key is to cut open a guy's stomach mm -hmm. and pull it out of his intestines. Let's. So going down the line, do you think you can get out of this trap in three minutes? Ab to kill a guy and take the key? Absolutely. Is the person already dead? <laughs> no. No, they you say think they're dead, you but think they that wake up dead, while you're about yeah. to stab them. Oh, God. Well, see, the problem is that, like, they would have said, like, the key's in his stomach, and I would have already gotten the key by then. <laughs> <laughs> like, absolutely. No. I have, like, if I have to die, I'd have a horrible death. Thanks, guys. Because, like, here's another thing. I would need them to explain, like, okay, so if I don't kill him, then he walks away scot-free? Like, is that also part of it? He that? would probably just get killed, because he's like, in, in the movie, he's poisoned. Oh, then yeah, I'm going to kill him. Okay. I'm going to put him out of his misery. Yeah. Poor man. Well, <laughs> I love how he But he'll get grandpa. put into a trap. No, but hypothetically, he gets put into a trap to get an antidote for that poison. So he it's not like he just dies. Milk. Well, Big Saw doesn't he just kill people. Listen, he lets them kill themselves. Sh 
Yeah, but that's like the whole plot. That's not like a joke. That's like the entire plot of the movie. Yeah, but I feel like that's also not true with most of the traps. It's not specifically in this trap. It's you killed that man. It's not. Yeah. Like so, Tommy, you're surviving. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Mateo probably won't. (laughs) Probably wouldn't survive. You're so sweet. I would kill him. No. (laughs) What about you, Gordon? Let's let's talk about that trap really quick. Because Amanda Young, one of the most iconic characters in that entire show, mm-hmm. or in the series, it's basically had true. one of the easiest traps ever. Oh, the because easiest trap ever. She, didn't she not have any relation to the guy that she had to kill? People literally have to rip their arms off. No, I've seen too many like, TikToks about this, about, like, some of these traps are so uneven. Yes. Just, like, in stature. Because of, like, I, I really, I think it's just writer creativity. Well, that is. No, no, bear in mind as well, it is writer creativity, but there's also future traps where one of the plot points of the movie is that one of the apprentices who makes yeah, the traps yeah. doesn't want people to win. Well, isn't, it, isn't the girl who had the bear trap also an apprentice? Yes, yeah. Amanda Young. Because she's one of the first people to ever be in a saw trap. So she was like a prototype, basically. Uh, well, also, I know that he makes the traps, like, he kind of, I know he changes the traps, ba- okay, because, can we talk about Saw X? Uh, don't I won't spoil. spoil too hard. I won't spoil. You can talk about the traps because they're in the trailer. But, but, wow, those traps are intense. But you know why, though? Those are crazy. I mean, they, they scammed oh. the guy at a $200,000. Oh, yeah. So, like, of course those traps are going to be more brutal. Can oh. I, can, okay, I was going to get into those traps, actually. Do you want me to ask you all those yes. hypotheticals? Sure. All right. So, first trap from Saw X that I'm going to talk about. It's called the brain surgery trap. And so, this guy is trapped in a chair. Mm-hmm. And he has a Iron Maiden type thing, I think, that's going to close in on his face and burn him. If he doesn't remove a chunk of his brain and throw it in a jar to dissolve it so that it shuts off the machine. Are you surviving Why are we all giving screen? yourself brain surgery? No. 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 Like, will you do it? Well, at that point, I would no. just stick the thing in my brain and mush it up. Like, Honestly, that's just valid. to end it quickly. Well, well like, yeah, because, like, there's no... You're cutting off a chunk of your brain. You've never experienced brain surgery. And also, you're well, unable to you, look at your brain. <laughs> Tommy, he gives you a camera and tells you where to cut. Oh, so, don't like, worry. He gives you a camera so you can watch yourself cut it. Well, to be fair, they made him watch too so here's my actual question before i give my answer okay. <laughs> the guy in the movie did he survive this almost <laughs> because like, this is the only problem he had three seconds left and the brain didn't dissolve fast enough oh so really it was just, he didn't do it fast enough no, why am i the only person no. that's doing anything in this game right now like me I personally i'm not surviving that. that like i'm not giving myself brain surgery i'll just mush my own brain no. yeah i that just seems like what <laughs> What just what happened? Just ha- Did what? she just? She fainted. She was like, "Oh my god!" Oh, I can't oh. <laughs> Did she I'm, not- I'm so sorry. This game looks so boring. But look at it- him spin. <laughs> <laughs> this is how he ends every game. It's only boring if you don't like horror movies, honestly. Leatherface this game? Has got zoomies. Yeah. This like, the game? only reason I have fun with this is because I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I'll pick well, it over no, Dead by Daylight d- any day. I think it's boring because it looks like a budget Day by Daylight. I think the real problem is that every action you take seems to be about. 20 times slower than it should be. You're also like playing as a killer. If you want. Killers are just slower. Again, it still shouldn't be as this slow as game, it is. This game, I will say, like, as much as people compare it to Dead by Daylight just because it's asymmetrical horror, like, this, it feels very different. Yeah. And honestly, it's, like, I like I say this as biasedly, as unbiasedly as I can, that it is really hard to play the family. Because mm-hmm. you cannot see a single person. I don't know. But it's then, like, like, it's such a dark game. Very dark. <laughs> I've got one last saw trap. Saw me. And this one, you can't die. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this saw trap is called the shotgun carousel. Oh. It's from saw the saw. healthcare one where they tried to take a jab at the 2008 like healthcare area of America, right? Because the whole plot of John Kramer is he has brain cancer and he's trying to live the best he, life. And he, he, he's saw, correct? He is saw. He is saw. John Kramer is saw. <laughs> Um, John Kramer is, is living his best life. He's Jigsaw is what they call him. He's the Jigsaw killer. But anyway, so the shotgun carousel. You're an insurance guy. You scam people out of money. You pick who lives, who dies, basically, as an insurance person. That's what you decided to do with your life in this hypothetical. So now you're being put up against a shotgun carousel with six of your coworkers on it. And you have to pick one person to save on the shotgun carousel. It's oh. two in the movie. I'm picking one because it's more intense. Are you doing it? And when you pick who you save... You have to get a screw through your hand. 
Okay. So you have to stick your hand in a screw thing, and it drills a hole into your hand. Oh, that's nothing. So are you real? <laughs> are you going to do the trap, or are you going to find a way out? Have you ever shoot a nail through your hand? I'd like to find a way out, no. ideally, but <laughs> at the same time, like, how do you find a way out from a saw trap? I think if you find try to find your way out, they kill everyone on the carousel. Oh. So like. Wait, are these my coworkers? By the yes. way. Yes. Okay, depends. Depends which one of my coworkers are on the carousel. Ten to break. Yes. Because I think. I think that it would be hard to pick, mm -hmm. but I think I'd do it if I had to. The I three of us are on a carousel. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you saving and it better be I me? think I'm just going to close my uh, eyes and Jake, just say... I know the that's answer, fair. but I want to say it's kind of fair. It's Mateo. So, I'm going to say take all of them, please. <laughs> I think I wouldn't understand it, so I would think that I can only save one person, They're including myself. It's no offense, so that I would kill a everybody. <laughs> I, yeah, but that's why you sacrifice him. I just well, like, I would just feel like, like, I feel like I, if I had to like do the trap, I'd do what Goran's doing, mm -hmm. which is just like, let, like closing your eyes and just hoping, just. Okay, so. So what wait, we, what, what <laughs> are we doing in this game? Again? So okay, so okay. you're basically just running around because uh, Leatherface is the only person that starts in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> So you have to you have to find the survivors. So yeah, you have to just you're basically just running around. Uh, Leatherface's main thing is that he has his chainsaw. Obviously. Why are we so big on the oh, TV? Oh yeah. Okay, you can't go through. <laughs> Thank <this>. you. <laughs> <laughs> and the game starts. Make the game. Make All right, that's enough of my saw stuff. I'm gonna go off the cuff. Wait, so I have a uh, oh, okay. before we go. Yeah. I have a question about that. There's like no way like if I pick everybody if I pick nobody everybody dies right? Yes. Okay, and oh. so there's no way to save everybody oh, yeah, in this scenario. No. So. You're then saving one person. Play the game. There's no... Well, some people... I, it's just interesting to see how people react because in the movies, they all do different things. I, I Sometimes I think I just have... To, maybe it's because it's a movie and it's all fake mm -hmm. and it feels like sometimes I have too much of a logical brain because oh, yeah, you're looking at it from the outside. Mm -hmm. But when it's well, obvious that, like, oh, he's a, he's a crazy murderer and nothing's going to happen, then, yeah, play the game if you have a better chance at saving one person and if not, they all die anyway. So no, exactly. Matter. Also, right. everybody has a favorite coworker. There's no way that game is being played correctly. I it's mean, so when you're long. killing people, though, oh, it comes down to like how that makes you feel as a person. Yeah, empty. I, I think no, else. but it's. <laughs> I think the dialogue was really interesting in that scene because it's like all of these people like fighting to stay fighting alive. to like say because one of the girls was just like I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Yeah. Well, don't believe. That. Um, and then, yeah, and another and then guy somebody goes, look at me! Yeah, the, look at me when I'm killing you! It's like, what the heck are you doing? Yeah. Oh, he's trying to make you feel guilty, but that's when oh, you just go run. pop and move on. No, no exactly. Think, no, no, no. I don't think you can, oh, but no. the survivors can. It's just That's like, like another reason. This game just feels very... Oh, yeah. That's All like right. one of the... Are you all ready for Texas Chainsaw Trivia? Just oh. see if you can get it. Yeah. All right. Bubba. Bubba. We'll Bubba. start easy. Okay. Uh, first question. Do we have a buzzer? Doing multiple choice. And so buzzer, first person to... Karate chop the microphone? First oh. person to shout the answer after I give all the options. Okay. okay. So right when I give my last, there'll be four options for each thing. Then you get him an answer that's right away. Can. That's, yeah, that's our, that's our team. All right. Yeah. First question. It'll oh. be an easy one. Okay. How many Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies are there? Uh, one. Oh. Seven. Six. Or nine? Six. Seven. seven. That was all your final answers? Yes. So you said six, you were first, then six. it went Tommy. So all of you were wrong. Okay. It was nine. Ew. Nine? Yeah, there oh, there's nine. No, none. There's not nine movies worth of content. Wait, like, how do you make nine movies of this? All right, here's, a, here's this is a, a yes or no. Okay. So you already know the answers. You can blurt it out right as I finish the question. Are all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies serialized? No. no. Correct. Oh my god. They're all different. Our There's different timelines. Open. Some don't follow each other. Serialized is the right word for that, right? Is that just TV? I think serialized. Movies can be serialized? I don't think movies can be. Movies can no, be. they can be. If like none of them have anything to do with each other. Yeah. And it's essentially, I mean, you would just call it essentially a reboot every time. I'm like, this is different, this is different, this is different. But yeah. it is what it is. All right. So, so far we've got, I'll give Mateo and Goran one point. Woo! Because y'all said the same. Start off strong. Same time. How many questions do we have? Uh, I'm just gonna go until I feel bored and we're just gonna talk about the game. <laughs> yeah. Probably just until the break, uh, and okay. then we'll just play for the rest of the time. All right. Oh, somebody's getting hacked up. You heard that? I do you know. I think it's in, yeah. How oh, many open that. UT alum that I, uh, no, this oh. is, how many UT alum have worked on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise? Uh, oh, one. Nice. One, two, three, oh. or four? One. I think Dang. three. 
It's three. Woo! So the recent Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie had two UT alum, both RTF. One was the cinematographer, one was the director. Cool. And the original had... No, not the original. Oh, and then I'm not going to say who the third is for another movie because it's actually the next question. Oh, okay. Um, I just... Teammate. <laughs> so, oh, no, teammate. which That's famous family. actor... Which famous actor from UT, because there's a lot, so I'm, I'm, I'm cutting it down to UT. Say, um, which famous actor from UT had their first ever role in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie? Like, their first ever film role was a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. And I don't have multiple choice, because it's oh, very limited. I, I don't know if I can... I'm going to go ahead and say... Ooh. Cara Delevingne. Whoa. Okay. That's a crazy the, pick. Yes, mostly <laughs> because she is not from America. Yeah. That is, that is a, uh, a crazy pick. I'm going to say... But, like, she looks just like Leatherface. I'm going to... Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, wow. Cara Delevingne. I'm going to say Matthew McConaughey, even though I know he's not in it, but... Mateo, do you want to throw one in? He should have been. Uh, sure, I'll play Matthew McConaughey. And y'all are both correct. It's Matthew McConaughey. Oh, it was that oh easy. Gosh. So We're Matthew McConaughey, oh, his oh, wait, first no. ever film role was the fourth Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, the Texas Whoa. Chainsaw Massacre um, New Generation. Whoa. And that was what? his first ever role in a movie, like a feature film. Whoa. All right, Whoa. trivia for you, Ryan. Hmm. What part of Texas is this happening in? This Austin. Is Austin. This is Austin. You, it's Austin. It's really interesting. The it, the scroll text at the beginning, mm -hmm. like talk or not. Oh, whenever you load up into the game, the radio. The Even police, the first movie is yeah, like six miles away yeah. from campus. It, says, it talks about uh, UT students. So the I've original movie in the seventies. Oh, they're all UT students. Wow. The original. I uh, was actually one of the questions, ironically. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Give me that point. Yeah. No, but uh, four. The first movie, four. The House. The entire movie took place in Austin and was filmed in Austin in 1974. Mm. And so the original house and everything, even the second movie, all filmed in Austin. You can, like, really look, and you can see some highways and be like, that's literally Austin. Um, this, it's really fascinating. That's how I feel when I play The Last of Us, and he passes oh, by yeah. that, like, mm -hmm. San Marcos Austin yeah. thing. I'm like, wait. I know that is. Wait, wait, wait. And then they talk about Travis County. I'm like, wait, uh, wait, wait. So see, that's really I, funny. You can, like, still drive by those places in yeah. real life. It's weird. That's I true. just rewatched Sicario, and, uh, like, there are, so, there are, like, a few shots before they enter Juarez where you can actually just mm. see, like, UTEP campus. Really? And, oh, like, that's so sick. Like, I, one, of the, one, one of these days, I want to, like, recreate that opening scene where it's like, there it is, the beast. <laughs> like, there are so many places where I can just identify. I'm like, yep, that's El Paso. Oh, that's sick. Is that where you're from? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's sick. Dazed and Confused, the elementary school portion of the movie, like, where they're, like, have the paddle and they're about to go to the elementary school was filmed at an elementary school in my hometown. Whoa. Isn't that a romance movie? Romance? Yeah. It's a comedy. Yeah, that's what it is. There's some romance. Ryan's there. hometown of, put his address right here. Right here on the right screen. Right here. Georgia? Address. Address Texas? right here, please. How'd you know you're close to Georgetown? I'm close. Oh my gosh. Doxing yourself. I'm only, I don't live there. I'm only <laughs> partially psychic. I can only get half of it right. That was my hometown. That was George where I was born. Bird. That doesn't mean I live there. It's crazy that we were so close. We were, and we never met each other. And we never met. Oh, okay. Next question. Two minutes. And this is the last question, so we've got two minutes to add, which we're going to keep playing through the ad in here, uh, but for people on the actual TV station, you lose us. Um, Guys, please stay with us. But last please. question. Which Oscar-winning actress starred alongside Matthew McConaughey also in her first ever feature film role? And it's... I don't want to give you names because, like, it'll be too easy, but just think of Oscar-winning actresses. I'm going to have to go. Or, you want me to give names? Yes. Yes, please. Jamie Lee Curtis, Rachel Zellweger, Emma Stone, uh, Margaret Thatcher. That's not an actress. <laughs> Rachel Zellweger. <laughs> that's not an actress. No, that's the fake. What about Natalie Portman? Describe Jamie Lee Curtis. Curtis. It uh, actually, was? no. Actually, no. It's not Jamie Lee. It, it is Rachel Zellweger. That's it's the name, Rachel. right? Okay. Yeah. Then, yeah, that's the actress. That was her first ever feature film role, starring alongside Matthew McConaughey in the great state of Texas. Matthew McConaughey in that movie actually makes a really weird noise. He goes, uh, boo, and jumps off a roof. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I don't know where I'm that's, going. That's actually I'm where so it is. Matthew that's McConaughey in his off time. No, it just else. feels like running some but yeah, even though we're going to stay on I the gameplay the during the ad, yeah, like the TV um, station itself is going to go to an ad, and we'll keep playing for YouTube and Twitch. So uh, we'll see you back in a second. This one? Bye. Yeah, you can go through there, too. Yeah, guys, y'all could just leave the gameplay going for I this if you want. Might oh, wait, no, 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 no. Go to the other one. I, I had a, 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 a old teacher in high school we're commercial, but we're still on the air. had, like, a weird story about...
who was just like was going to UTA thing. So much. Um, yeah, it's like or she was just in Austin with family or something, and she went to a bar. Uh, and then at some point, this is also like Matthew McConaughey was like starting to get arrested because he was clearly high out of his mind and naked in his front yard type stuff. Gosh. Because uh, he used to do that a lot when yeah. he was younger. But uh, she, she she was just like really tipsy or something. And she was just like, I don't understand why everybody cares about you, Matthew McConaughey. And then out of nowhere, right behind her, he, Matthew McConaughey shows up and goes, well, I, I, I think you've had enough to drink and <laughs> continues on. That's and after that, amazing. she's just like, and after that moment, oh, I no. never talked for the rest of the night because I was so scared. We're literally never going to find Oh, oh yeah, this is the that's it's a lot, but you can't go up that. Gosh, Big this game, why? Big boy can't go up the ladder. He could have put down the chainsaw. Two minutes. Are you okay with like just us playing through the ad? Honestly, since yeah. we're on YouTube and Twitch, I don't think we're this. Ugh. You know what I think his problem is? Well, one, his grandpa's hungry. But two, <laughs> hunger. Like you don't hunger. have to chainsaw to massacre. <laughs> yeah, but that's. Like I mean, like that's, that's the, the I mean, what other? Thing. Like, are there any other chainsaw killers? Just killers? Him, yeah. No, he's the only chainsaw yeah. killer. I mean, I mean there's like Ash, like a, but he's a protagonist. That's he's like a pretty unique him. find, yeah. That's also like, I would argue, like very different of like style of Grand. grandpa's. I well, but that's also not, he's not a killer. He's just grandpa's Ash. Dead. Oh? Oh, I thought grandpa died. I was like, I thought he was already immobilized. He was already in the chair. No, immobilized <laughs> means he's dead. That literally means he's dead. Uh, Wait. I'm pretty sure. Oh, my. Oh, why are we still going? Well, because you can no, still no, no, do no, things no. without grandpa. Grandpa gives you perks. Unless you see Grandpa people. Su- this Grandpa gives you sucks. Whoa. Yeah. No, oh. yeah. Like, if you get him to the first level, it reveals everyone's location. One minute to her life. That was a, that was a good little... Do you want, does little anyone else want to take it? Because I can't, like... I'll do the next one. <laughs> I'm literally so Open the door. I, I gotta think, say, I for can't. this being an indie oh game, God. it's really pretty. Because you know how much they charged for this game? Like We've only bucks. seen this basement, Ryan. <laughs> I can't... Bucks. Oh, you can go through that. Tommy, I've played this game for hours on PC. Like, I know what the game looks like. I know. This. I've been in the. Oh, night. I know. I know. Oh, I know. No, but I, the game's fifty bucks. But They're yes, like Ryan. Really. Well, if they look good to you, I only have this experience in the next th- thirty minutes to base all my. Do y'all want me to get you out of the basement? There you go. Please. Right there. Right there. Door. You're right there. Door. Oh, oh my gosh. Right yeah. Please. Left. 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 No. 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 That blue door. Blue door. Blue door. There you go. Can we get you out of the basement, Tommy? When you play. Yes. No. I figured it out. Oh my gosh. It's a blue door. Ten. Nine. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, they're. Seven, oh, yeah. Right there. Right. Oh, they're beating up Grandpa. <laughs> Poor Grandpa. It's kind of rude to pick on the and elderly. And we're back. Hi, back. We're back. I'm side. And I'm side. Which side? Okay, if you had. Okay. All four of us. Front, back, left side, right side. What are we? Left. And what is this, Voltron? I feel like I'd be front. <laughs> Yeah, we're all on like a, we're all on like a <laughs> so modest. A mega like I'm awkward enough to be left, so it works. Okay, uh, I'll 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 be the back. I feel like I don't I'm, want to I'm be front, perceived. center, and stage. I'll be right. Okay, I'll be trusty. I, I'm glad I'm glad we all figured that out. Yeah. So cool. are we like making like one of those uh, when when you combine all the Power Rangers kind of thing? Voltron. Yeah. I just oh, oh my god. No no no. I, is Voltron? I thought it's not Voltron. Yeah, Voltron is when you s- that's it's the it's all the lions <laughs> and the then final? you put them Pterodactyl. together and then, no, it's like the one of them becomes the arm left arm left leg and the head. Voltron, that is Voltron. That is explicitly oh, is. Voltron. Can they we defend talk about the universe? How do, you, how do we feel about the okay? It was not. It's kind of old. That Power Rangers movie. Which one? The, like, uh, the, new uh, one. the newer one. I heard it was pretty okay. I kind of loved it. Are you talking yeah, about I heard it was really one? fun. The what? In there one in 2005? Is that what you're talking about? No, 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 no. After that. Who was in that movie? Who's the, the singer? The guy, the guy that was um, uh, Billy from Stranger Things. No way. He's in that? He's yeah, the Red he's, Ranger. Yeah. Oh, that, really? yes, he's, that's yeah. actually fitting. He's a good actor. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh she bone scalpeled you. What does that mean? It means you're stunned for a second because okay. you're like. Well, scared. you know where she is. Mm-hmm. She. She's touching this. She said, "This is she's... for me." I can try and oh, die to yeah, yeah, yeah. the next game. Oh, come Open on. it. Oh, nice. Get her. I think you're you, you're about to execute. Oh, Grandpa's alive again. How'd that happen? He he's not like dead dead. Oh, you got he's it. just you like dead. It. You know. So right. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's Grandpa. Grandpa. Get her. Get her. Get her. Oh, you can't uh, get her through that. You could reach through that. Though. Oh, um, I would break that right there. Can you break it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that one breaking? Oh, it is. That's like a thing that only they can go through. And now you can. I don't know how that chainsaw is still functioning. Because that's, that's the real chainsaw they modeled it on. Yeah, you cut through yeah. enough bones, you're fine. 
What is he doing? Oh, you can feed He's grandpa feeding grandpa because it gives oh, yeah. you Go better strength. Because if you get grandpa to max feed, you can see the people all the time. Oh. He's just in the way. Yeah. That's why. Cut him down. Do you have blood to feed? What does he do? Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 she's oh, stabbing oh you again. <laughs> she okay. can kill you, Look so at him. Be he's careful. like hitting okay. his head. I feel like this game is going nearly twice as long as the other one. Barge! It's me, I'm and I got the chain. I know, you have, to get, you have to barge him. What's I'm up? trying. Should it I won't play? give me the prompt. It was just there. Just go kill that girl. Yeah. Just go kill her. She oh, is. she's literally, she's waiting. Yeah. Uh, I think this is hey, a game. people in the studio. <laughs> if I should yeah. play Kirby Triple Deluxe, switch to my cam, or switch back to the couch camera if I should play Kirby Triple Deluxe. I guess it's locked. Oh, it's locked. Ah, oh, heck yeah. I, I got where permission. To go this is very unprofessional. I put down Pokemon for this. For this. this my episode. Tommy. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, she can hit you with the gate. <laughs> this seems very oh, do it again, do it again. You can hit her with the gate. He's like, ah. I was like, I'm gonna get you. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> oh, it's not locked. It's not. It's telling you to lock it. Oh, you're clicking the wrong. Wait. Wait. Did she lock it? Why did you bug? Yeah. Actually. Whoa. What if this I is actually the most riveting game of. This is the <laughs> most. You I know what the real problem is? If this family, if this cannibal family, cleaned up more, all right, they would have actually done. Two people on their team disconnected. <laughs> that's like the, that's like the name of the game. I Hunt think, down the oh, final the controller? victim. I no, I, yeah, I think it's either the game or the controller because I, I oh, can't interact you're, with. Oh, you're you're, wait. The X button. You can't anything? interact with anything. No, yeah, I can't destroy oh, this. Oh, we thought it was a bug. Something must have happened. Cause you I don't think it's. A I think she disconnect and try again. She hit you, you so want. hard. Or do you want to? Do you want? She hit you controller? so hard you can't use your hands. <laughs> this is. This riveting. is so fun. This is riveting. This Listen, is so Saw had many swear words. It was last Listen. minute. It, it I was so excited to play the Saw game. <laughs> I, I still want to do it for a Saturday stream. <laughs> yes. Because it's, I, it's a good game. I vote genuinely. Yes. Like, here's the weird thing. Okay, okay. it's over. It's oh over. God. You could still chainsaw. Oh, he looks so sad. This is the dance of sadness. This is like him doing like, An elegy of emptiness. I feel like it's like, yes, it's finally over. Yeah, which kind of sucks when a game. All of them. They were all completely wow, dead. <laughs> we did it. Next match. Yahoo! I'm totally not playing Kirby Triple Deluxe. Get. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. Why? What? Pay, pay attention Ryan. to the game that you're the making. The control room play. gave me permission. That's not good. Be professional. Ryan, control room, down. they're bullying me. Down. Put it down. Log off. Pay yeah. attention. You're Did making us play this. You, you have to be present for this too. Today? To Did you get oh, your reading log signed? Need. Yeah. You need everyone. Oh, I oh, read oh, Geronimo oh. Stilton. No, I don't want to hear it. Geronimo Stilton. I let you squ skip swim practice. And you're just going to play it all day. I can't even swim, Dad. You said your, you said I can't your head even hurt. swim, Dad. You, just, you said your head hurt. I don't know what's happening. So why am I seeing you on because the Because you right keep now. tossing me in the pool. So you're And I keep hitting my head on the bottom. I'm done. This is... Done. This is why. Done. This is why I don't like you. Wow. I. Y'all, y'all are weird. <laughs> we'll be right back. What's <laughs> the I don't think they have the. I don't think they have the jurisdiction to say we'll be right back. After At least if break? we're going to commercial. Oh, okay. Sorry. Just had to set my son straight real quick. I don't that I don't know if that what? <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that bit? I don't even know. I don't know. But you went something. with that. Thank you. You're yes welcome. and. You yes yes and. and I yes and. I'm a professional I think whatever just happened over there is the reason why I hate horror movies. <laughs> you hate what? Oh, oh no! 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 This game is officially the worst game no, ever. The biggest is, tragedy. Is that it's clearly just a, like a model. Yeah, a model that they just like. Down. Down. Huh? Vertical. That, was that was the biggest tragedy in this episode. Like, they couldn't even design it to look like roadkill. Like, uh, it's just, what is that face? It's pain, Ryan. I don't know, that didn't look like pain. <laughs> well, then let him be I like the prop skeleton alone. that they have in the background. <laughs> oh, they're <then> each. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> That's like shit you buy it near Halloween, the night before Halloween. <laughs> Me and my friends did a short film where we like had like well we need to portray someone who's been dead for like sixty years and so we just bought like a like a fifty dollar like prop skeleton. 
it looked really bad, but like thankfully the lighting is really bad as well. So it kind of like masked how oh, bad the, have the skeleton. Did you see that? Have you all yeah. seen that? You reminded me of that decoration that is at Target. Lewis. Where it's like, uh, I am not, I am not a jack o' lantern. My name, My name is, is Lewis. What? I have not seen that. You all haven't seen oh, that? Oh, get him. Get him, People Thomas. in the studio, if you've seen that, oh. rapidly switch between me and the couch. Where's my figgy pudding? They also haven't seen it? Oh my. I will show you after the show. It's oh a funny me, Oh my. I am not a jack o' lantern. My name is Lewis. Me, Lewis. My name uh, is Lewis. Uh, <laughs> have you seen that? No, no. And seen it. And seen it. And, Thank and's you, a Anne. meme person, though. You like memes. Also. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and knows. Has anyone seen, like, the whole, like, MK1, like, skeleton lighting the cigar? Or MK11 skeleton lighting the cigar? No. Where it's like. I have to show you guys after the show. I'm it's so like my dumb. favorite thing ever. It's so fun. It's so dumb. Where's Cram where's Gramps? Um What's up? Where's, where's Gramps? Gramps? Gramps is upstairs. Gramps is chilling. Which map is this? Oh. This is press the pause. Okay. Uh it doesn't tell you anymore. Uh, Here, do scoreboard pause, sorry. Here's a question for you guys. Oh, it doesn't tell you. Okay. What this you, is I think the actual T C M house though. Sorry, go ahead. What do you think is the best uh licensed like movie whole, like horror movie game? Uh Friday the 13th, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or Evil Dead again? Of those three? Yes, or if there's more. If you I would throw more. Saw in there, but that's right, not really so. the same vibe, so I'm just going to stick to the other two. Sure. I, I guess so, yeah. I guess they're like, all asymmetrical, right? Yeah, asymmetrical, like, multiplayer games. I'm personally taking Friday the 13th. Yeah. yeah. I thought I had some of, like, the most fun on Friday the 13th, but I felt it was so... Oh, is that the one where, I like... I thought I was so bad at it. I thought that it was so easy to win as Jason. Is that the one where Jason's, like, teleporting around? Yes. 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 People yes. Has, like, all the abilities. Grandpa! Yeah. Where are you? Which, uh, fitting enough, we should have downloaded that, because tomorrow's Friday the 13th. Oh, uh, but uh, wait, you can't anymore, right? Tomorrow, well, no, no, it's still... You can still get it, and if you buy it right now, you get all the DLC for free. Whoa. And the online features so are happens when your game flops. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, well, no, really like holding it back. The game, the game did not flop. flop. It, was a, it was a legal thing. Now yeah. this game, this will flop. Evil Dead also is also I like Killer Clowns. Is going, I, can't, I don't know if it was because of, it Killer didn't Clowns do well like financially fire. or if it was because no. of licensing. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, right. Killer Clowns is going to be fire. Well, that's kind of what happened Dead by Daylight with Stranger Things. Do you know where my grandfather stuff? is? Yeah. Well, that's a little different because Friday the oh. is just in licensing hell anyway. Something terrible is happening. What is happening, Did actually? Get caught in a trap? Grandpa? Thanks, Grandpa! Oh, someone died. That's what happened. Nice. Ally killed... Grandpa! Oh, two people just escaped. I got food for you. Oh, and it's, it feels, game. like, so easy. For... Yeah. Oh, you know what? I did so much work. Yeah, are they all Rough. gone? My name. Hunt down the final victim. My oh, name oh, my is Lewis. Grandpa! Grandpa? Jeepa! If you... Oh! Jeepa? Hey! Beat him. Beat him. And then he taps him on the head. My, oh. Give me my mole. That's his name. Hey, look. I like that floating ball action. <laughs> slapping the air. You just slap the air. You're good to go. This air fits so much air in it. Do you remember those ones? Mm -hmm. that, wait, what? Like where you, they slap the car and it's like, this baby fits so much blank. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh. I have not seen that. Oh, do, you want yeah, to, do, do you want to take a seat, by the way? Nah, I'm good. Right. Not you don't, you don't want to... Hop a squad on the so I have a question. How hard? How, what are they doing to escape? Actually, yeah. What are they doing? I have no clue. I, have, I Ryan? don't hardly see. Anything. Just don't cover my mic. <laughs> don't cover my mic. Ryan. Yes. What are the people doing to escape? They have to run through a gate that's on the outside. Then how? There's like there's like three four ways to escape in this game. Yeah, you can go the underground exit. You can go the two top ground exits, and I forget the last one. Base. Uh, it just sounds no, like no, the the oh yeah, because there's unless there's two in the basement. I think there's a side exit too. in the basement. No, 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 no. just the side. There's, so there's three. Outside. There's yeah, there's three outside. Gotcha. Or at least for oh whoa, the last get him, fam, get him. Oh my god, <laughs> this is wild. Okay, squad. This is the most riveting gameplay we've had yet. The Benny Chase music. The Benny. <laughs> wait, 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 Tommy. Tommy, go the other way. <laughs> Okay, now go the other way. Go the other way again. Oh, no. Oh, that's my brother. 
That's it for him. How did we just lose? This sucks. Also, the fact that you have to keep the chainsaw rev is kind of stupid. You don't have to. You can keep it up the entire game. Yeah, you can. Why do you keep trying to get off? Why do you have to rev it up in the first place? Because and why is there a stop if it's always on, it's a little OP. It's the most powerful and weapon. Yeah, also it's loud. The oh, yeah, yeah, right there, right there, right there. Yeah! Thank, thank God you're in the darkest corner <laughs> of this entire video. Yeah, for the one kill. Yeah. For the one kill that we've gotten so far. Well, there was, and yeah. then the other person got. Yeah. I hated every moment of that. <laughs> it was a lot, it was a lot better than, than, than my game. Wait, do you want to set? I'll swap with you. Oh, shit. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to be hosting, but I kind of ran out of all my questions. I'll take over. I was told that there was going to be like horror trivia, and there really wasn't. Oh, do you want more? I have more. All right, can I can I give like a who would win kind of thing? Yeah. Who do you think would win? Uh, Ash Williams or uh, Ash Williams, Leatherface, uh, or Jason? That's actually a comic book. Jason, for sure. Well, uh, Ash versus Jason. It's, I believe it's Ash versus Jason versus Leatherface. And really? Wow. Well, I could be wrong on that. I, it might be different. That's extremely <laughs> specific. I know Ash has like, uh, Mar has like crossovers with Marvel. Like he was in Marvel mm -hmm. Zombies. Um, but um, are they all have their powers? I'm assuming. Yes. Let's just go with like Leatherface. They have all... Insta loses. <laughs> just because they're just a normal guy with a with a chainsaw. I mean, he's also well, just like mind of a child. Too. Yeah, he's got the mind of a child. That's true. Yeah. I think Jason wins purely on the grounds that Jason is supernatural. Because mm. Jason doesn't really. Oh no, die Jason lives forever. Jason. But to be fair, Ash also has supernatural powers too with the Necronomicon. But not because we're assuming because the Necronomicon he doesn't like. He doesn't want the Necronomicon. He's still like a normal him. man. But also, here's the thing about Jason: he doesn't live forever. It's that they keep resurrecting him. I would That's the catch about Jason. Like, sure, he lives forever, um, but it's really he dies and then they re resurrect. Sure, but if that's it's actually the studio, if, right if that's actually, a, mute everybody. Oh, how do I do that? Oh, uh, and you have to unready. I just, if, if, if it's an inevitability that you're going to be revived, I would call that some sort of immortality. <laughs> like, if Rachel Ghoul's gonna come back forever just because he lives next to a pit, then he's immortal. Wait, let me ask you guys, <laughs> what, what horror movie franchise do you think that you could survive? Like, Scream? I feel like Scream. I just feel like they're bad. I feel no, like, Scream's too smart for me. I'd survive Friday the 13th. Uh, really? Uh, yeah. But he's like Michael. He's like supernatural. I could pull a Tommy Jarvis and win. Okay. Uh, I could survive you. Then. Okay. It also depends which Jason you're talking. I'm I'm talking any. I'm sorry. I'm not surviving a single Jason. I'm surviving I, any, every Jason. Any of the things in the con that maybe Uber Jason. Mm, I'd live okay. past. I think ghosts are stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and I think uh, that nun lady. <laughs> oh, I'm surviving, oh, I'm surviving the, nun the nun because I don't mess with supernatural stuff. Oh, well, it's not even that I don't mess with it. Like, I assume that, like, it's happening, that she's showing up no matter what. And I, then I, I see her. Just close your eyes. I start laughing a lot. And I feel like that immediately takes the power yeah. away from her. Like, my problem with ghosts is that I think ghosts are funny. Yeah. Uh, and I think ghosts are... Funniest ghost? Uh, Funniest ghost. Uh, the, the foppish ghost from the Hannah Barbera cartoons. Oh, where he's okay. like, heavens to Murgatroyd. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I love that guy. He's great. Have you watched Thirteen Ghosts? No. You like I've, that movie? I've never seen that either. It's so okay. Is that the one really... with the, the sexy pottery? It's with Matthew Lillard. I'm not hearing a no. That's go. That's isn't it's that the movie Ghost? ghost? Yeah. I think yeah. that's just Ghost. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen the Scary Godmother movies? No. From Cartoon Network. They're like really bad. Oh movies. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That was. Those were like my favorite movies. Those are I so saw, fun. I saw someone post a joke where like the vampire like dad he was like. He was like trying to like have a better sense of comedy, mm -hmm. and it just cuts to them him making a joke saying, "Other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how did you enjoy the show?" <laughs> <laughs> how do how do we feel about Monster House? Do you think they're out of the basement? oh absolutely I Monster House? Open. I letterboxed oh, it no, five stars. I uh, think it's like Monster House perfect. is such like a good movie with like an interesting twist on how the villain operates. Oh, it's completely very cool. And oh, also, and the oh, animation. oh, there he is, <laughs> with, like old man. That, 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 that was right. The line like that's the uvula. Oh. It's so a it's girl. a girl house. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's that, so that kid good. is so funny. Also, I think about the the arcade scene where the the skeleton is just like da 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 da. Uh, no, 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 what about no, that no, guy no, who no, makes no. the thing? Uh, where he's just like <laughs> that actually gave me like nightmares. That like <laughs> that the, man? The noise, yeah, oh, it, like, the, freaks me out. Like the da 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 da. 
No, that was like my favorite Halloween moment because I was like, ooh, that's actually like creepy. Yeah. Uh, and then the house is like not so creepy because you don't really die. Yeah. You just get. You know, like, all, everything that's oh. eaten showed up at the end, right? Yeah. For the most what? part. What about. Where did. Okay, Didn't that. Wait. Oh, for you. that wait, girl's wait, bike got stolen. Oh, but tricycle. then he was handed the bike to yeah. the Yeah. What's up? I have a question for you, Ryan. So sweet. What's up? As a horror uh, aficionado, is it aficionado or aficionado? Aficionado. Like a fish. Huh? Yeah, hey, you're a fish. Um, a fish. Um, since Ryan's fish. fishy. And what would you say is the best, not, not your favorite, but the best? Like, objectively the best horror sure. movie? Or, like, su subjectively, technically. That's a crazy question. Like, to you, what do you think I've is the best horror Scream, movie? I've only watched Scream, so I haven't answered. Ever. One if, like, horror movie ever? If, like, anyone asks me what the best well, horror movie ever is, it's Scream. Why Scream? It's funny, it's witty, the characters are great, it's an actually good slasher movie, it's not just like doing random crud to be like, haha, we can kill people, so, uh, and it has like a story that rounds itself out pretty nicely. Do you think you could ever do a Scream game? Scream game? Like play one or make one? Make one. Like if you were, if you were like a, like did, like Oh, games. easily I could make a Scream game. Crazy I mean, it would be like a single-player game. I can't do asymmetrical. But. Well, I would, I, I would almost assume it would be asymmetrical, because like Scream is like it's the dude going out and taking people out one by one. If right? they can make a Saw game though, that's story. I feel like you could do Scream. That's true. It's because both are kind of formatted like levels. Like you're figuring out the mystery as you go. Or know? like Until Dawn. Yeah. Oh. Until Dawn's very good. Also, I don't know if I should leave. The I'm basement so entirely. Well, if Grandpa's upset. awake, you should go. Yeah, but they're all down here because they haven't opened the doors. Well, yet. press up on the D-pad. Oh well. Press up on the D-pad. Oh, no, not yet. Look at him. Grandpa? So up on the D-pad, you can see everything through walls. When no, but that's like not people. I can only see stuff. No, you can see people. Like other people? Yes. Oh, then there's something new I didn't know. <laughs> Blowing his mind. You can't see people. Yes, you can. You can't no. see. I'm not seeing see anyone. I see my <laughs> teammates. There's someone right yeah. there. Wait, I didn't see. No, no, no. You can only see your teammates. Ah, she went to. <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> He's protected his girlfriend. Get back here, you know skinny white you, guy. Dude. That's like real ally right well, there. Oh, I think he got stuck protecting, in a trap, Ryan. Protecting What's up? He got stuck in a trap, I think. No, he stabbed me with the bone shank. Hey, no, no, no. I meant just now. Oh. I. What were we talking about? Scream? Scream. 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 It's a good, like, if, if anyone like, wants a good entry level oh, horror, Scream is don't, don't, I've only seen one horror movie. Yeah. Uh, and it's the original Suspiria. You saw it's, House. It's oh. very good. Oh, the original Suspiria is my second horror, horror movie. House is different. House sits on a different level. It's still horror. I, I, I understand that it's horror, but at no point did I feel scared through that movie. That is valid. I like The um, Exorcist. What I think is interesting about Suspiria, at least in the original one, though, mm -hmm. like, Spoiler for the original Suspiria it's that colorful. came out in like for 1970. Yeah, 1977. The yes. um, like it's witches is the answer, but the way that they phrase it in the original Suspiria is that they go, they're, "It's witches," and the girl goes, <gasps> and then <laughs> then they go, and they're Greek, and she goes, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and then, She's like, "No." <laughs> And oh, then, no. yeah, everything turns into, like, a hellscape as soon as the revelation that they're, they're from Greek. Greece. <laughs> and I, that's one of the parts of the movie that I love it so much, of just, like, I understood that this is all, like, leading up to this very, very scary moment. Mm -hmm. But just, like, the they're Greek, and then everything goes yeah. insane is so funny to me every time. <laughs> Wait, I just thought of the best question to ask you guys. Horror question. Okay. Well, are we ready? Yeah, ready. Favorite slash... Best final girl. Uh, Nev Campbell. Uh, why I forget her name from Scream? Sydney Prescott. Mm. <sighs> Personally, Nancy Thompson. Really? Yeah, I love her. But she's only got like one movie to shine. So I know. Enough character. And hey, that movie, she shined. I guess that's true. She shined. She's not. <sighs> she shined by the she shore. I'm gonna have to go with Laurie Strode. Yeah, I really Lori. love Lori Strode. That's good. But I also like they butchered her. Nancy from Stranger Things isn't like a final girl by definition, but she oh. gives big oh. final girl oh, energy. She's, so she's a final, final girl, girl. and she's it's so like final. so. It, she's like really good. Well, she's, that that one, I guess this is well, this is not a spoiler, but when she's shooting, um, Michael, yeah, <laughs> Michael. Uh, with, um, with that shotgun. That yeah. shotgun was so good. Well, like, that's one of the things that I think is so fascinating is that Nancy just has guns now. Yeah. And, like, it's kind of horrifying. It's shotguns, Like, too, out of everybody, including, like, Steve with the bat. Yeah. They, she's not, they're not even the ones to be scared of. You need to be scared of Eleven and Nancy, and yeah. that's it. Yeah, Nancy is, like, cutthroat. Mm -hmm. I love her. It's, like, it, it's just a really good build, too, from, like, 
I'm like the schoolgirl. I'm yeah. doing the best. And then she's at the like, gun store. Yeah. Like... She's like, give me everything of ammo you have. Yeah. <laughs> I really like Beth from Evil Dead Rise. Mm. Oh, um, that's real. Okay. I, I would say like Mia, but I feel like Beth like was a lot more interesting. And I thought that like her final battle with like the weird... Well, have you have either of you have, have any of you guys seen Evil Dead? Have not seen Evil Dead Rise? I have not. I've seen it three times. Like, I don't know if you ever like want to see it. It's a great movie. No, <gasps> spoil it. Go on, spoil, spoil it. it. Um, so like her sister, who's like the first to get possessed because uh, her her nephew basically is kind of stupid, mm. and <laughs> uh, five minutes. Oh, um, there. But yeah, he's like, oh yes, no, there's this the there's this book in, in this weird like place that has a bunch of crucifixes hanging everywhere and has teeth and it's closed and it op- it's only opens human skin <laughs> yes and, he, and his first thought blood. is yeah let's open this yeah and i'm just like why you're telling Dang. me you wouldn't open it i no, mean i'd open, open that let's be real i'm <laughs> opening it i'm sorry like i want to like but the final but no, the final like he's waiting like, for every me single, you like, jerk person who's died like their bodies like all dude. Mashed, mashed together oh. dude this guy it's, it's a it's a tent this a guy tense, come here standoff it's come cool. here no wow he's get his job ryan sucks <laughs> yeah, am i the only one who killed somebody ryan is bad yeah, you're the one who got ryan somebody. is bad at this that girl just died in front of you right <laughs> Uh, I just think oh, that his work. choreography here needs to be talked about more. That's like what he does in the first movie. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And but I think of, it's great. I, really I don't like, think we have time for another, so we can uh, just chat for the last Sure. Chat, I've guys. seen one other horror movie. What horror movie? Cabin in the Woods. Whoa, that's a good one. It's very that's good. That's a fun one. It's I, a iconic I, one. It's got... Crazy s- twist at the end. What is Chris Hemsworth. Sigourney Weaver. Oh. Sigourney Weaver. And Chris Hemsworth. And do you want to hear a fun fact about that movie? They filmed it before he was born, and the only reason they released it when they did is because he was getting popular in Thor, so they thought it would make more money. Oh. Because it was in production, post-production hell for the longest no, time. No, that's a very good... Another thing about that movie in particular is that there's, like, tons of other things happening yeah. a- around the world, right? They're yeah. all like, this is happening, so we have, like, contingencies. Um, in <laughs> in Japan, they were like, we released, like, the the woman from the ring, essentially, all yeah. these, like, Japanese schoolgirls. And the Japanese schoolgirls instantly band together and exercise her without any problems. Yeah. And I'm like, how does everybody else in, like, the system get it except for these, like, American teenagers? Yeah. <laughs> it's also the only one of the few horror movies that kills the entire Earth. Yeah. Whoa. There's not many horror movies that no, kill the entire alert. world. Yeah. Yeah. Earth Gone. Earth Gone. I know Cloverfield. Oh, yeah? yeah I, 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 I need I, to watch like, those. I just want to chip in just like say I really like Cloverfield. It's, it's, my, favorite, it's my favorite horror movie. Is that a J.J. Abrams movie? Yeah. Wait, which Directed movie? by Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves. Um, That's but produced by J.J. Abrams. How, gotcha. how do you feel about that movie Life? Uh, <laughs> with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's okay. face. It's a little alien. I could have seen High Life with Robert Pattinson. Is that what it's called? Uh-huh. High Life? Or like something like that? High Life? Maybe? I don't know. But High Life with Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> I have never seen it. Yeah. Another no. great Jake Gyllenhaal movie, Enemy. For anybody that has not seen Enemy before. It's like, oh, Enemy's pretty It's good. like hour and a half. I think it's like, it's <laughs> pretty short. It's a but solid, like, solid three and movie. a half star. Yeah. Every, everybody in the cast had to sign an NDA. Oh. Really? Uh, Welcome to, video to make movie sure that they hour never hour. talked about yeah, really. what the movie was actually about. Yeah. Well, like, I think what's really, I, I'm always the one that, like, thriller or psychological thriller is way Same. more scary to me than, like, like, the movie Prisoners with uh, Wolverine. <sighs> Amazing. <laughs> it, it's so Hugh much. Jackson. Well, there's so many people. Jake John Hall, Paul Dano, mm-hmm. um, Hugh Jackman. It, it's a much scarier movie. Or The Call oh, with Halle Berry. Do that not movie is much get, more terrifying. I was, I was literally watching, like, The Call clips in my fifth grade math class and i was terrified no it, it's so much scarier than it, i think like true zodiac is great i that's love that's a scary thriller didn't they catch that guy mm. oh no, they just they recently they did. not officially no 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 just did. recently i think they well they made no, a break they, in the they case. thought yeah. they did they made like a break in the case they don't know for sure but he's like dead at this point he's yeah probably. he's gone but the, it's weird to think that he probably sat in the theater and watched the movie that's yeah <laughs> that's cool that's <laughs> That's Do you think he was like he was, he was like, like no, they got that wrong? He was like, no, that's not how that happened. I didn't kill them that way. Well, if we're talking thrillers, since we got a second, have you all seen the Jordan Peele three movie? No, I haven't. I saw no. I still, I've only not seen uh, no. Oh, no, it's so good. I need to watch it. It's oh, very like it's get very get split. Really nope yeah. is his best. Movie. I can see why, but nope, nope is very very cool. Nope is his best movie. Really, I loved Get Out. Because it's nope them. 
it's a, it's us? no it's us and get out. Okay. Speaking of getting out, we got to get out of here. So uh, thank you so much for coming to this episode. A little chaotic, but as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that Twitch follow button, hit that watchtstv.com enter button, and I've been Ryan. Uh, I've been Mateo. I've been Tony. And I've been your amazing host, Goran. Thank and you so much. And we'll 